Oh, hello. So imagine for a sec, you're sitting on a beach in the Florida Keys, the waves lapping at your toes, an airport paperback in your lap. Somewhere further down the shore, you hear it? Gentle caresses of Jimmy Buffett, who's from a cabana speaker. You go to lift your drink for a sip and the cool taste of lime washes over your lips, smoothing over the tang of salt on the rim. Suddenly you're lost in thought. Where the hell did the margarita even come from? Well, you're in luck, compadre. In this week's episode of Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're geeks who drink and we read stuff all the damn time. This is random knowledge. So like most food creation stories, the history of the margarita is real heavy on theories and pretty short on answers. One yarn points toward the early post-prohibition days when an unnamed Ziegfeld showgirl reportedly said she was allergic to all alcohol except tequila. A San Diego restaurateur named Carlos Herrera came to her aid, adding salt and lime, apparently to pack her with electrolytes while staving off scurvy. Another one says a Texas socialite named Margaret Sames whipped up the drink at an impromptu 40s house party in Acapulco, you know, before that level four travel warning. And if you subscribe to the idea that any two things that sound alike must be related, then some people insist it was invented by this gal, love goddess Rita Hayworth. But guess what? All that's bullshit, according to cocktail historian David Wondrich, who presumably spends most of his time loudly insisting that cocktail historian is a real job. The modern margarita probably evolved from a Depression-era drink called the Daisy, which basically mixed any kind of liquor with citrus juice and grenadine over shaved ice. Eventually, the tequila Daisy was born, calling for orange liqueur, lime juice, and a splash of soda. And the Spanish word for daisy? Well, that's margarita, which lends a little extra credence to that version. What is beyond dispute is the margarita's meteoric popularity. It was in Cuervo ads by 1945. It was Esquire's Drink of the Month in 1953. And by 65, it had even made the Oxford English Dictionary. Mind you, that was still 12 years before Margaritaville, in which Jimmy Buffett permanently associated the drink with flip-flops and beaches and baby boomer day drunks. Nowadays, that green drink with a very murky pass makes up a whopping 18% of all U.S. bar orders. And as for frozen margaritas, we can pin those on Texas restaurateur Mariano Martinez. When 7-Eleven wouldn't sell him a Slurpee maker in the 70s, he and a chemist friend actually hacked a soft serve machine. That resulting drink mixer is currently at the National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. And by the way, I can confirm that if you yell drink orders at it for a solid 30 minutes, they will totally kick you out of there. <laughs> to recap, margaritas rule. It means daisy in Spanish and Jimmy Buffett can suck it. At least one of those facts will get you a point at the Geeks Who Drink quiz on this date. To find out where, hit up geekswhodrink.com. Then like this video, subscribe to our channel, and once all that's done, please order a margarita for me. I will be there just as soon as I get out of Smithsonian jail.